Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pakulski. Today we'll continue building the tool for a small business owner who wants to see the clear structure uh, of revenues, expenses uh, by different uh, sources of revenues, by different uh, companies that form their revenue or expenses by vendors or expenses by, uh, by types. Um, so today we will be expanding so now we have only um let's say how many lines we have only um 15 or 16 lines of transactions but but in um, any business there are a lot of transactions so let's uh, first of all expand these uh, area of inputs to uh, let's say 10,000 um, 10,000 transactions and this will be our first step by the way, if you find you, this video valuable, you may give us a like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. You can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. And let's start the exercise. So this will be transaction one. I will be creating uh, 10,000 of transactions and here we go so now we've created 10,000 lines uh, of inputs for our transactions so we can for example change the cost add transactions set up um, set up the cost types adjust the values and so on so now we need to uh, put all these uh, transactions inside the timeline so let's create the timeline so the first year of our projections will be we will pull it from here We have two year horizon for our model. So these are months. This will be the year So here I will put the transactions. So here from one to 10,000, I will place the names of transactions. And now we need to place all our transactions inside the timeline that we've uh, uh, specified on the top. And for that, I will write here a simple formula. If and if this year I'm freezing here the line, 
if this one equals to if this year equals to to this year and this month this month equals equals to equals to this month I'm freezing here the line then I will place here the dollar value I will place the dollar value of this transaction otherwise zero So now I'm extrapolating these formulas to the right to the to our timeline. So now we can you can see uh, how these uh, values appear in the timeline. We can go up. We can create, for example cost transaction on 2023 April um, this will be the cost of when for vendor number number two and the value will be twenty five thousand dollars so we can go back So here we can see our transactions. And now we'll extrapolate this table to the 10,000 lines of our transactions. And this will be our next exercise. So now um, I've extrapolated our logic uh, of putting the transactions inside the timeline to the whole uh, 10,000 transactions. And now we can uh, gather the revenues uh, by, uh, by companies. So this is the first our exercise. Then we will gather the revenue by type. Then we will gather their uh, expenses by vendor. And then we will gather the expenses by type. So how we will do that? I will copy the timeline. So this will be revenues by company. Here we will place the name of uh, the company from our library. So we have 50 companies that form our revenues and this will be our total revenues
uh, for that case I will use sum if function uh, sum if so the range the range of companies I will place from the transaction list so revenue company I will place it from here So then criteria I will pull from here and the summing range I will pull from here. And here I will freeze the lines now I will extrapolate the formula to the bottom Then I'm going to extrapolate this formula to the right. Our timeline ends in Y. So now we can see how our revenue, our transactions are now calculated by company. So for example, uh, we can add the revenue for the company uh, type 10. Let's, for example, this is the revenues 2023. February type 10 um, $300 for example oh it's not here $300 so company number 10 300 dollars now we can see how uh, the revenue this uh, this inflow uh, went to the uh, company number 10 revenue and this is the total revenue by company now we will do um, uh, we will group the revenue by by type I will copy uh, the, the, the top, the header of this table. So this will be revenue by type. Uh, so this will be companies and here will be revenue types here I will place the revenue types
So here I will use also sum if function, sum if, then range will be, I will go up to the input area. Uh, so revenue type, I will use this column. criteria criteria will be we'll we will take it from here and summing range summing range we will be pulling from uh, chronology of transactions from here Now let's extrapolate this formula to the bottom and to the right. And now we can see the same numbers as here, but they are split different way. Here the revenue is split by companies and here the revenue is split by type. Now we will extrapolate these formulas to the whole of our timeline. For example, if we want to um, add some transactions for April, so for example, revenues. 23 April revenues for example this will be 43 this will be other or for example this can be Instagram and from Instagram we're gonna uh, earn 3500 so we can see we can go to let's let's put it to May even so here we can here we see we can see the revenue by company and here we can see the revenue by type So the company is 38 and it is represents Instagram Instagram revenue so this is how the revenue goes to company number 38 by company and to Instagram by type and now we will do the same uh, we will do the same uh, gathering of data for the expenses so we can copy these to these tables. So first of all, let's costs by company. So here will be the list of uh, vendors.
I will use conditional, uh, no, not conditional, I will use um, SAMIF function as well. SAMIF. Um, so the formula will be So this is the vendor. So this will be the range. This will be the range. Then criteria. criteria will be pulled from here and the summing range will be pulled from the transaction list So now let's extrapolate this formula to the right. So these are the costs. So for example, if I want to add some cost, so for example, cost, 23 June this will be vendor number 18 and this will be 4500 so we can go to June so these are the how these 45 hundreds went to the vendor number 18 and now um, we should uh, we will make the cost by type Here on the left I will put the list of cost types from the library. We can also write some if formula as well. So the range will be cost type from the uh, our transactions cost types transactions list. We are freezing this area. Then we are selecting criteria. C 
criteria I will take from here and the summing range in summing range I will take from the timeline Now let's close the brackets, extrapolate the story, create totals, so now we can see these 4500s, so they represent vendor number 19, night number 18 and this is uh, cost number 13 so now we can create PNL by uh, by company because we have the expenses by company revenues by company and we also can, can create PNL by revenue type and uh, PNL by cost type so this will be our next video maybe this video was useful for you you may give us a like subscribe share this video with your friends you can also order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas we're gonna help you with that so see you guys in next videos thank you and bye.